it's T. Hoffman, and it's time for another Two Minute Tuesday. I hope everybody's week is off to a fantastic start. I want to talk to you a little bit today about a recent article I read from Harvard Business Review. Now, this article is not new, but it is something that was really appealing to me. And the reason it was so appealing is because it was based on a study that has been going on for some 75 years now. And the study actually journals what makes people happy long term. Because as we all know, happiness not only extends our life, but it also impacts our mental health. It impacts the people around us. It impacts our ability to be successful over time. And so one of the things that was so interesting about this long-term study is that everybody has an idea that to be happy long-term, we have to have a successful career. We have to have a lot of money. We have to have really good health. But the study has found over time that regardless of social economic condition, regardless of how you actually end up in a great career or just an okay career, regardless of the size of your home or the type of car you drive, for example, whether you're in the big firm or the small firm, no matter what you're doing, the key to happiness long-term is relationships. Relationships are what actually sustain us. But the interesting thing about this study is that This study went on for 75 years and it followed people for all 75 years. And at the end of the day, it found relationships were important. Why is that important for lawyers? Well, as you probably already know, lawyers suffer from more anxiety, depression, alcoholism, suicide, etc. Almost the most of any other profession. We're all grateful for the dentist out there because they seem to be worse. But having said that, I will tell you that the relationships that you build in your office with your peers, with your clients, uh, with the other people on the other side of the table even, will help sustain you for the rest of your life. So make sure you're putting some mental and emotional intentionality into those relationships. Dig in, get to know people at your office, get rid of negative people in your life. Make sure that as you're marketing yourself, you come off as the person who actually not only wants to have people as clients, you want to have have your clients become your friends. You want to be their trusted advisor. You want to be their advocate, of course, but you also want to build the kind of relationship with them wherein they can sense that you have compassion and empathy for them. So go out and make it a great week. Make sure that you check out our online training at lawstrategycoach.com. We've got some great new courses from Aileen Leventon that just came up. They're great for project managers, uh, folks that are into process improvement. Make sure you check those out. Go have a great week and we'll see you next week on another Two Minute Tuesday.